feel like a little bit of a stereotype choosing La Boheme, but I mean, what could one say about La Boheme? It's a great story, it's heartbreaking, it'll bring a tear to your eye, it'll make you laugh, and it just has amazing tunes, which I think is so important for opera. And it's particularly good for first timers to the opera. I'll show you something from Act Three. I think Act Three is really, really a great act of music, and this trio is stunning. I remember sitting in the theatre the first time I saw La Boheme. It was the end of Act One, and I was a little bit disappointed because the two arias and the duet that I knew very well had already happened. So I was wondering what was to come. Well, I needn't have worried because the tunes kept on coming, and I really think Act Three is where the beautiful melodies and the heartbreaking emotions really come together so perfectly. So just before this trio, we learn that Mimi and Rodolfo have broken up and Rodolfo says that this is due to Mimi's flirtatious nature. But when he is pressed on this by Marcello, he basically breaks down and gives the audience the true reason that Mimi is dying and he can't cope with it. And of course, Mimi is there, she's listening in and we, as the audience, get to hear her question her own mortality. And the combination is just absolutely heartbreaking up until the moment that Rodolfo sees Mimi and you just know they love each other. I think La Boheme really would work anywhere, in any time period. It's a story of love, it's a story of loss, it's a story of jealousy. So honestly, I would be happy to do it anywhere. But I think it would be fantastic to do it Waterperry. Do you know anyone who could uh, make that happen?